Lord had to get Pastor Walker back. I have to stand before you today to do something that I never thought I would have to do. But I have to come out of the closet. I've been trying to hide it for a long time. I didn't want everybody to know. But I'm coming out today. Go on. And it's not easy. Because I already feel the tension. I already feel your animosity. I already feel your reviling. I feel you reviling against me just because I stood here and said I have to come out of the closet. You're being abusive right now. And you ready to say all kind of evil against yep. me. <laughs> False. Mm -hmm. Somebody here tell me I'm a lie. <laughs> and you know what's so bad? That I know that I'm not the only one here that needs to come out of the closet. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but I've got to, can't, I can't speak to them, I can only speak. So, let me go ahead and confess it. I am a preacher. I'm out of the closet now. I am Reverend Walker. Oh, somebody asked me, said, that ain't coming out of no closet. <laughs> no, that ain't coming out of your closet. <laughs> That's coming out of my closet. <laughs> you see, my brothers and sisters, one of the things that I have to realize in order for me to be able to be blessed by the Lord is I have to come out of the closet. Let me tell y'all something. My father-in-law sitting over there. The other day we were somewhere, at a store somewhere. And that was this gentleman that got out of a truck. He was on a cane, and my father-in-law was on his cane. I felt like I needed a cane. <laughs> <laughs> and they got out of the truck, and they were caning and met each other. And the gentleman introduced himself to my father-in-law. My father-in-law says, Hello, I'm Reverend Morris Williams. And the man looked at me and I says, I'm Brother Walker. What did you hear different? He confessed that he's a murderer. Right. He confessed that he was Reverend Morris Williams. And I confessed I was his Brother Walker. I might have said Brother Walker, Maurice Walker. And the Lord says, why didn't you come out of the closet? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all looking at me with all those judgmental persecution away. <laughs> <laughs> I did not confess, I did not come out of the closet that I was. Because if I had to come out of the closet, my excuse was I didn't want to, you know, make a man feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. But Rep. Morris Williams didn't have no problem. I'm Rep. Morris Williams. Yeah. He had no problem telling who he was. Amen. But what was my problem? Why didn't I come out of the closet? You didn't want him to look at me as a reverend. I didn't want him to look at me as a reverend. Or maybe I didn't want to have to act like one. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Amen. Maybe I didn't want to have to act like a reverend. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just wanted to be able to say, well, if I make a mistake in here, and see something I don't like, I can say, man, Reverend, I can just blow a fit. They won't yeah, yeah, blame it on yeah. being a Reverend. <laughs> so the Lord's trying to get us to understand. There are some people in here today, you need to come out the closet because in your place, in your living, I'm sitting at the dining room table where the beer and the wine and all that other <coughs> stuff is, you don't want to proclaim that you are a child of the Lord. Because as soon as you do, they're going to revile you. 
What kind of Krishna are you? You sitting over here. Oh, they're going to be all over you, aren't they? That's right. They're going to say all kinds of things That's against right. you, aren't they? As soon as you say that you are a child of the king, you know that you're going to be persecuted. Right. So you say, well, I'm just better than this. Calm all that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to proclaim that I go to church. I'm not going to proclaim that I'm going to believe in the Lord. I'm just going to act like they act. How many of y'all need to come out the closet? <coughs> come out the closet. Amen. You need to come out the closet wherever you are. You're on your job. You need to come out the closet. I'm a child of God. Amen. I'm a believer in the Lord. I Amen. trust in the Lord. I love the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. You need to come out that closet and quit being worried about whether or not they're going to be persecuting you or whether or not they will revile you. Say all oh, matter evil against you. Amen. Don't Amen. let that be a concern. Quit trying to come up with excuses because the Lord brought you out of bondage, not so you can put yourself in bondage. I put myself back in bondage. But I don't want to proclaim the Lord. I didn't make myself this. The Lord says, I called you out to help others. And the way they're going to get help for you to stand the way I called you. Amen. If you are a believer, you're going to have to start acknowledging that and saying that. Okay, so you're a believer. So you make a mistake and they get on your case. You can stop right there. When they get on you, say, Lord, forgive me. Show them that you have a relationship with a forgiving God who will forgive you when you make a mistake. Amen. Amen. Instead of running and getting yourself in seclusion, talking about I messed up, Lord, I know what I'm going to do. Like the Lord won't forgive you. Yes, yes. Woo, y'all are hard. <laughs> Be sure to go somewhere and tell them your pastor came out of the closet today. All right, man. Amen. Amen. And when they start looking real funny, I knew it. First one says, I knew it. Y'all call me. Let me know. And then tell them, the Lord showed me I got to come out of the closet. Because when I come out of the closet, it changes my confusion. My confusion of I'm trying to find my way. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. If you know that you are a child of the king, the way has already been made. Hallelujah. You don't have to find your way. You just have to walk according to the Lord. If you are moved to support this ministry, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign Living Witness MC or through Tithely on our website at livingwitnessmissionarychurch.com. Click on the gift in the top right corner of the homepage. Thank you for watching and God bless.